In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write functions in R. Okay, let's get started. So I want, if you're using R Studio, make sure you open it up and then go File, New, and an R script, right? So I prefer to write all my functions in, uh, in a, on a separate script, but that's up, that's up to you how you want to do it. So, okay, th this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to write a simple function called uh, my add. Okay, so all it's going to do is take two numbers and add them up. And the way the syntax goes is that you write function, right? So that's a function, and then you write your inputs. So in this case, it's just going to be A and B. Now it's really important that you open up um, these uh, curly brackets, right? So, th so that's how you define the length of the function. Otherwise, it's just going to read the first line, right? Okay, so you open up your curly functions and you write what you want to do. So in this case, all I want to do is write A plus B. Okay, so it's going to take A and B as arguments and it's going to add A and B. Now, this is optional, so if you want to, you can write C is equal to A plus B. So, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what the difference is. Right? So, I'm going to save this. Right? Make, sure, uh, make sure you click on this source on save. So, you need to, because otherwise, um, just because you save it, doesn't mean that R recognizes uh, this, this file. Okay? So, I'm just going to write, make, because it's temporary, I'm going to click on blah dot R. Right? Um, anyway, so, Okay, so now it's source, so R actually recognizes what it is. So that's why it's showing up over here in my workspace as a function, right? So it recognizes what it is. Um, so now if I go my add, uh, say three and two, right? It, does, it doesn't show you the output. Okay, so let me show you without this C. If I got rid of this C over here and then saved it, right? So source it again. Um, otherwise, just because it changed it, it doesn't it doesn't recognize it, right? Um, so now, if I go my add three and two, it'll give you the output. So it's completely up to you if you want to uh, if you want to output it or not. Okay. Um, now the good thing the good thing about doing it this method is that R R saves this as a object, right? So if I go to the previous one, C is equal to my add three and five. So now C appears here here in my workspace as a value. And if you can see, my add is just below that as a function. So basically, it's just another object for R to keep it in its, keep in its memory. The reason that it's good is because I can pass into it into other functions. So, I mean, one thing that I can do is say I can rename it. So let's call it uh, my add two is just my add. Okay. So now if I go my add two, three and two. Right, it'll give me the same answer because I just renamed it, and the reason I can do that is because R recognizes the function as another yet just another object. Okay, um, now suppose you want to you want to uh, output more than one thing. Okay, so 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 far over here is just outputting a plus b. Um, suppose you want to do a times b as well. Okay, so this time what R is doing is that it's Outputting just the last line. Okay, so if I if I save this now, and then I try to do my add three and two, it'll just give me. Ooh, okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting to go. Oh, sorry, my bad. My add. See, my add two didn't change because it it it, it didn't. I didn't make any change to that. But if for my add three and two, this should give me six because it's just give me the last line. If you want to return both of them. You need to do this, so I need. I'm going to give this a line. So out one is equal to this, and out two is equal to this. If you want to return return both of them, you need to return them as a list. So you would go list out one, out two. Okay, so now it'll, it'll return both both of these because it's inside my, uh, it's inside the list that it's it's just a list that is returning. Okay, so there you go. You get a list of five and six. And if you if you really want to give this a name, you probably should. In fact, you probably should give it a name, right? So I'll just go add is equal to that and mult is equal to this, right? And save it again. Now when I go my add three and two, it'll instead of giving me this ugly in within brackets one and two, it'll give me dollar add and dollar mult is this. Okay, so that's a bit more intuitive. Um, so as far as functions goes, that's really all you need to know. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comments, just let me know, but please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.